Hello and welcome to a new video. In um, this one I'm going to show you some of the lesser known features you can use on your EV6 inside Google Maps. Um, they're specific to an electric car and um, some of them have ju only just been put in. Um, so um, I'll show you uh, which settings to set up and then how to use it. Anyway, on, on an iPad, iOS version, um, you open up Google Maps and you click on the top left hand corner, hamburger, and then settings, and then scroll down and you've got electric vehicle settings. That's where you set your uh, plug types. So I've got type 2 in CCS combo for an EV6. And then under navigation, you've got. Um, Prefer fuel efficient routes, which I've got turned on, and then you can select your engine type. Um, th this is only a recent setting they've added, I think. Um, so instead of petrol, diesel, or hybrid, you can just have electric. So that's turned on. Then, if um, I navigate to say the Seven Valley Railway and go into directions. Notice on the map um, the quickest route is via the motorway, but it's not the most efficient. The one next to it, there, one hour and seven minutes. If I select that one, it's got a little green leaf next to it. Um, that's saying um, one hour and six minutes. It's a short distance, but it will save me six event six percent energy by driving five minutes more. So it's quite useful to know. Um, I'll show you the Android version next. So switching back, that's the other route. Quicker route, one hour, one minute. More efficient route, one hour, seven minute. On the Android version, um, you have to have the phone disconnected to go into settings. So um, I pulled my wireless Android Auto dongle out, so it's not going to interfere. So I go into Maps. And then you've got to um, press on the profile button, then settings, then electric vehicle settings, then you've got your plug types, and then navigation settings just like you do on the Apple version um, then you've got to select your engine type I've got fuel efficient routes turned on and then engine type set to electric uh, so now that's all set up I can go and plug it into Android wireless uh, Android Auto wireless and I'll show you how it works on the screen right now on the Android Auto which I'm running wirelessly um, I think if you pick it from history it doesn't show the same thing so I'm going to type uh, 7 Valley Railway get it right Then it shows you the routes. Select that route, then it's got the green leaf against it. When you look at it on the phone or on the iPad, it actually tells you how much energy you're going to save. Um, so it's, it's, it's sometimes better to just look on your device um, to see what you would save. But um, you can see um, the green route there was it that one? no it's that one, it selected the green route so that would be more, more efficient uh, and that's how it works 
And of course the other useful feature for an EV owner is the ability to search uh, Google Maps for EV charging stations. Press and hold the voice button. Search EV charging stations. There's Instavolt charging station 0.4 miles away. Want to navigate there? No. Uh, as you scroll through the list, it moves the map around. Simple as that. Uh, Instavolt charging Burntwood is the one that my Kia Live Maps does not see at all, and it's been in for over a year. That's when I was complaining about in the last video. I think the number on the end in green is uh, four out of four available. Um, judging by what some of the others are doing, two out of four available. Fast, two out of two available, the grid surf. Um, yeah, one out of two, Osprey Charging, Norton Road. And then two out of four, I wonder where that is. I only used to have two connectors, so I wonder if the data's correct. <laughs> Thank you for watching.